Good morning, boys and girls. Good morning, boys and girls. Good morning, Mr. Danny. Good morning. We are here together virtually today because we've got some stuff going on. Hope you all have been able to play outside in the snow. I built a snowman of myself. It was great. I called it Fake Danny number three. Just to go with all the other Fake Dannys. Snowman Danny, Fake Dannys. It was great. We're here for another episode of Mr. Tom's Neighborhood. And since it's snowing outside, we got some pipe action going on in the church. We decided just to be with you all virtually today. So hopefully you'll come to worship with us here in just a little bit. But today we're talking about John the Baptist. Last week we talked a little bit about him. This week we're going to talk some more. One of the cool things about John is that there were prophecies about him in the Old Testament many, many years before he came. And they told what he was going to do. That he was going to foretell Jesus coming and preach the good news about Jesus. So that was really cool. Do you all know what a prophecy is? It's when someone tells something's going to happen in the future many years ahead of time. And it's God speaking through the prophets and telling us what's going to happen. Super exciting. So to tell us about prophecies and to figure out whether or not the prophecies of John the Baptist were miracles, here's Gloogie with a special guest for Was It a Miracle? Ah, thank you, Danny. We're here for another episode of Was It a Miracle? And we have a very special guest on Zoom today. It's Mr. Chad Gardner. Say hi, Chad. Hi, Chad. Yeah, that's good. Oh, are you making fun of me? No, you just said say hi, Chad. So I said hi, Chad. Okay, good. Yeah, yeah. So, Mr. Chad, we understand that you would like to be weatherman. Well, I, I'm a very expert, non-scientific, non-educated weatherman. Yes, I have lots of people that call me and ask my opinion. Wow. Do you yeah. ever get right? Do I ever what? Do you ever get the weather right? Like, weather? Yeah, like 50% of the time. So um, that, that's really good in the weather industry. Yeah. Ah, so how do you, how do you predict the weather? Well, Gloogie, they have these balloons that go up into the sky and they measure all the, di yeah, it's, it's really cool. And you look up ah. and you see the weather balloons go up and they take measurements of all the stuff that's in the air. And then these big computers tell us exactly what the weather is going to be. But we can only measure so far into the future. We can't really tell what's going to happen past a few days. So, so how far ago do we know it was going to snow this week? Um, so, you know, you can kind of make a good guess about seven days out, like a week out that it's going to snow. And then when you get to about four or five days, you go, yeah, it might snow. And then when you get to about two days, you go, okay, yeah, it's going to snow. So really just only two or three days. Can you really figure out what the weather is going to do? And then when you go outside and it's actually snowing, you can say, yep, it's going to snow. Yeah, that's right. You can say, yep, I got it right this time. Yeah. So, Mr. Chow, we're learning about John the Baptist and about the prophecies. Do you know what the prophecy is? The prophecy. That's when you say something's going to happen a long time off, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Kind of like predicting the weather, but not really. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, so we, we learned that in John the Baptist, they predicted that he was going to do what he did and that Jesus was coming like several hundred years before he did it. Do you think you could predict the weather 200 years ago? If I can't get the weather right in like four or five days, I couldn't get it right 200 years in the future. No. Ah, that's true. That's, that's a good point. You're so smart. Yeah. I know. That's why I'm not a weatherman, but I claim to be a weatherman. <laughs> yeah. So here's a big question. Since you are an expert weatherman, do you think that it was a miracle that they prophesied John the Baptist several hundred years before it happened? Oh, yes. That was absolutely a miracle. Yay! 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 It was a miracle! Wow. Thank you, Mr. 
and Chad, this has been great. You're so smart. And look, you thank you right now. Thank you so much. Yeah. Well, thank you for coming, Mr. Chad. Okay, this I'm I'm gonna time. go build a snowman. Is that okay? That's wonderful. Yeah, you can make one that looks like me. Well, I want it to be better looking than you. I'm sorry, Gloogie. I'm sorry. You're not coming back anymore on my show. I get invited one time and I ruined it. I'm so yeah. sorry. I'm, well, I'm going to go build two gloogies because you're awesome. Okay, good. That makes me feel better now. Thank you. Bye-bye. Okay, bye-bye. Wow, that's great. Gloogie and Mr. Chad figured out that those prophecies were miracles. I'm glad that those weathermen predicted the snow and it came because I like the snow. Snow is one of... God's cool creations that we get to go out and enjoy. One of the things that happened after John the Baptist was preaching in the wilderness was that Jesus came to him and wanted to be baptized. Do y'all know what baptism is? We have a baptistry at church up there at the top and people come and be baptized for the remission of their sins. But in this case, Jesus didn't have any sins, but he wanted to be baptized anyway to be an example for us. But John didn't want to do it. He thought, no, no, I don't want to baptize you. You're too important for me to baptize. But Jesus wanted to do it. And you know what happened? When Jesus came up out of the water, there was a light and a dove. And God spoke to John and Jesus. And God said, this is my son with whom I am well pleased. That'd be cool. If when we came up by the water there was lights and a dove, that doesn't happen now, but it happened to Jesus. And that was a good sign. Well, hope you all learned some about John this week. You saw that the prophecies were a miracle. Enjoy the snow, be safe, and we'll see you all next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>